वेलकम टू दी सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस दी फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन विच सेज फाइंड दी सेंटर द इक्वेश ऑफ द मेजर एंड माइनर एक्सेस द लेंथ एंड द इक्वेश ऑफ द लेटर आर एक्टा फोकाय एंड द डायरेक्ट्रिक्स ऑफ द इलेक्ट्स फाइव एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस ट्वेंटी एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई स्क्वेर प्लस ट्वेल्व वाई माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म फॉर द इक्वेशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्स इज गिवन एज एक्स स्क्वेर अपॉन ए स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर अपॉन बी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू वन वेर ए इज ग्रेटर दैन बी फॉर दिस इक्वेशन द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द सेंटर इज गिवन एज जीरो जीरो देन द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द फोकाय आर गिवन एज प्लस माइनस ए ई जीरो देन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द मेजर एक्सेस इज गिवन एज वाई इक्वल टू जीरो इक्वेशन ऑफ द माइनर एक्सेस इज गिवन एज एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो इक्वेशन ऑफ द डायरेक्ट्रेसेस इज गिवन एज एक्स इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस ए अपॉन ई लेंथ ऑफ द लेटेस्ट रेक्टम इज इक्वल टू टू बी स्क्वेर अपॉन ए then the equations of the two later a vector which is the plural of the latest vector are given as x equal to plus minus ae also the eccentricity is given by e square equal to 1 minus b square upon a square as eccentricity is given by e so this would be equal to square root of 1 minus b square upon a square this is the key idea that we use in this question let's now proceed with the solution the given equation of the ellipse is 5x square plus 20x plus 6y square plus 12y minus 4 is equal to 0 now taking five common from these two terms we get 5 into x square plus 4x the whole plus Taking six common from these two terms, we have six into y square plus two y the whole minus four is equal to zero. Now the coefficients of x square and y square in the parentheses are made unity. Now we will complete the squares. So for this we have five into x square plus four x plus four the whole. That is, for completing the square here, we have added four in this parenthesis plus six into y square plus two y plus one the whole. So we have added one in this parenthesis to complete the square. Now this minus four. Now as we have added four in this parenthesis, so as 5 into 4 is 20, so we would subtract 20. And as we have added 1 in this parenthesis, so 6 into 1 is 6, so we will subtract 6, and so this would be equal to 0. That is, we now have 5 into x plus 2 the whole square plus 6 into y plus 1 the whole square minus 30 is equal to 0. So we now have 5 into x plus 2 the whole square 
प्लस सिक्स इंटू वाई प्लस वन दी हो स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी नाउ डिवाइडिंग बोथ साइड बाय थर्टी वी हैव फाइव इंटू एक्स प्लस टू दी हो स्क्वायर अपॉन थर्टी प्लस सिक्स इंटू वाई प्लस वन दी हो स्क्वायर अपॉन थर्टी इज इक्वल टू वन फाइव सिक्स टाइम्स इज थर्टी एंड सिक्स फाइव टाइम्स इज थर्टी सो वी नाउ हैव एक्स प्लस टू दी हो स्क्वायर अपॉन सिक्स प्लस वाई प्लस वन दी हो स्क्वायर अपॉन फाइव इज इक्वल टू वन नाउ शिफ्टिंग द ओरिजिन टू दी पॉइंट माइनस टू माइनस वन वी हैव कैपिटल एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस टू कैपिटल वाई इक्वल टू वाई प्लस वन फ्रॉम हेयर वी हैव स्मॉल एक्स इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल एक्स माइनस टू एंड स्मॉल वाई इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल वाई माइनस वन लेट इज टेक दिस इक्वेशन एज इक्वेशन वन नाउ सब्सटीट्यूटिंग फॉर स्मॉल एक्स एंड स्मॉल वाई इन इक्वेशन वन वी हैव कैपिटल एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन सिक्स प्लस कैपिटल वाई स्क्वायर अपॉन फाइव इज इक्वल टू वन लेट दिस बी इक्वेशन टू नाउ कंसिडरिंग दिस इक्वेशन ऑफ द इलेक्स वी हैव the center of equation 2 is given as 0 0 that is capital x equal to 0 and capital y equal to 0 now this means that x plus 2 is equal to 0 and y plus 1 is equal to 0 so you can say that small x is equal to minus 2 And small y is equal to minus one. Now the small x and small y would be the center of equation one. So we say the center of the equation one is given as minus two minus one. Next, we find out equation of the major axis. Now, from the key idea we have that if the equation of the ellipse is of this form, then the equation of major axis is y equal to zero. So, for the equation two. the major axis is given as capital y equal to 0 this means that y plus 1 is equal to 0 or you can say that y is equal to minus 1 so we have equation of major axis of equation 1 is y equal to minus 1 now next we find out the equation of the minor axis and from the key idea we have that the equation of minor axis is given by x equal to 0 So, for the equation two of the ellipse, that is, this equation, the minor axis is given as capital X equal to zero, which means that X plus two is equal to zero, or you can say that X is equal to minus two. So. equation of
minor axis of equation 1 is x equal to minus 2. Next, let's find out the length of the latest rectum and it is equal to 2b square upon a. Now, from the equation of the ellipse, we have b square is equal to 5 and a square is equal to 6. As the length of the latest rectum is given as 2b square upon a, so as a square is 6, so we get a equal to square root of 6. Putting these values of b square and a here, we have 2 into 5 upon square root of 6. And so this is equal to 5 root 2 upon root 3. This is the length of the latest rectum. Now we find out the eccentricity given by E and this is equal to square root of 1 minus B square upon A square. Now we know that A square is 6 and B square is 5. So E is equal to square root of 1 minus 5 upon 6 which is equal to square root of 1 upon 6. So, eccentricity E is equal to 1 upon square root of 6. Now, the equations of the lateral rectum are given by x equal to plus minus AE. So, for the equation 2, the equations of the lateral recta are given as capital X equal to plus minus AE. Now if A is equal to root 6 and E is equal to 1 upon root 6, so putting these values here, we have capital X equal to plus minus root 6 into 1 upon root 6 that is x is equal to plus minus 1 as capital X is x plus 2. So x plus 2 is equal to plus minus 1. That is we have x plus 2 is equal to 1 and x plus 2 is equal to minus 1 which means that x equal to minus 1 and x equal to minus 3 are the equations of lateral recta of equation 1. Next we find out the coordinates of the foci of equation 2 and it is given as plus minus AE 0 so this is equal to plus minus for A is root 6 and E is 1 upon root 6 comma 0 so this means the coordinates of the foci of equation 2 are plus minus 1 0 thus we have focal of equation 2 are 1 0 and minus 1 0 now for the focal of equation 1 we take capital X equal to plus minus 1 and capital Y equal to 0 as capital X equal to plus minus 1 this means 
that x plus 2 is equal to 1 and x plus 2 is equal to minus 1. This gives us x equal to minus 1 and x equal to minus 3 and capital Y equal to 0 means that Y plus 1 is equal to 0 which means that Y is equal to minus 1. So we now have for chi of equation 1 are given as minus 1 minus 1 and minus 3 minus 1. Next we find out the equations of the directrices of equation 2 are given as capital X equal to plus minus A upon E. This means that capital X is equal to plus minus now A is root 6 upon E which is 1 upon root 6. So we have X is equal to that is capital X is equal to plus minus 6. As capital X is equal to plus minus 6 so this means that X plus 2 is equal to plus minus 6. That is we have X plus 2 equal to 6 and x plus 2 equal to minus 6. From here we have x equal to 4 and x equal to minus 8. So, equations of the directrices of equation 1 are x equal to 4 and x equal to minus 8. So now, for the given ellipse, which is 5x square plus 20x plus 6y square plus 12y minus 4 equal to 0, the center is given as minus 2 minus 1 then the equation of the major axis is given as y equal to minus 1 equation of the minor axis is given as x equal to minus 2 length of The latest rectum is equal to 5 root 2 upon root 3. Then we have the equations of the lateral rectum are given as x equal to minus 1, x equal to minus 3. Coordinates of the focal are Minus 1, minus 1, minus 3, minus 1. And the equations of the directrices is given as x equal to minus 8 and x equal to 4. So this is what we were supposed to find out. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.